Hello, the purpose of this video is to show you how to get into the system setup on a computer or sometimes referred to as BIOS. We're going to use a Dell Latitude E6410 as an example. The keystrokes may be different on different models, but all Dells are typically the, done the same way. Here's how you enter the setup. Turn the laptop on and now hit the F2 key. You can hit it a few times, keep hitting it, and on the screen at some point it will flash a little message that will say hit the F2 key to enter setup, which it's doing right now. This is the screen you'll see when you're in setup. Now, we're going to walk through a couple of things that you can do in setup. This is the menu. The first thing you can do is you can see this, the general system information as to what the um, different attributes are of your laptop, things like how much memory is installed. You'll see it says 4096 megabytes or 4 gigabytes. Processor type, in this case this one is an Intel Core i5. You can also tell how big your hard drive is. This is a common question. You notice this one, primary hard drive, 160 gigabytes. It tells you the video controller and a whole lot of good information to know about your system. If you ever question what's in your computer, this is one way to find out. Now moving down that menu, another thing you can do, uh, you can set your date and time. Of course you can do that in Windows also, but this is one other place you can do that. And then you can adjust the brightness on your screen. Video, LCD brightness, and you get a display that allows you to adjust the brightness in two different modes, when it's on battery or when you're powered on AC. You adjust the slider from 0 to 100. I personally set them both at 100 all the time. The reason that you might want to not set it all the way up when it's on battery is it will use a little bit more battery power if you've got the brightness turned all the way up on battery. But if you notice that your brightness is a little dim, that's one way to change it. Okay, next. Another thing you can do, every once in a while, if your wireless isn't working, you might want to double check and make sure you haven't disabled it. There is an on-off switch. You'll see that says wireless device enabled. And that box needs to be checked for WAN, Bluetooth, and WLAN. They, those boxes should all be checked. And that's it. So there's some things that you can do in system setup. You know how to get in there now? Hit the F2 key during power up. And that was a few things that you can do. Good luck.